We are going to have more fun than a three-legged woman on a pogo stick. I swear it's going to be a fantastic day. Today, we are making brownies. Yes, we are. And they're going to be so good because we're making them with red spring wheat. Whew, okay, I have to remember all the things. Red spring wheat. It's so good. I'm going to tell you all about what red spring wheat is used for. But in the meantime, we're also going to make some delicious chocolate hazelnut brownies using fresh milled wheat. Hello everyone and welcome to Sutton's Days. If you're new here, my name is Lisa and we are all about pantry preparedness. Yes, we are. And for quite a long time now, I've been talking about how I have migrated over to wheat, to storing wheat because commercially ground flour at best in the most optimal of conditions will only last two years before it goes rancid. And it is filled with all kinds of whatever. They have stripped all of the healthy nutritional stuff out of it to make it shelf stable for the one to two years that it's there. And it's it's basically, eh, okay. But if you store wheat, then you can mill your own flour. And the wheat is literally good forever if stored properly. How do you store it properly? Airtight container, cool, dark, dry, super simple. That's it. And you can make flour anytime you want. It is healthy. It has all the nutritional stuff left in it. It is the bomb, okay? But because for a few generations now, the powers that be have conditioned us to want bread that does not go bad. Yeah. What's it made of if it doesn't go bad? It's not made of natural ingredients. It's not made of real food. No, it's not. So, we are completely converting over to wheat and I love it. Yes, I do. Now I do keep some commercially ground flour in the house for certain things, you know, but rarely do we eat it anymore. And I am, I am migrating completely over to wheat because A, it's healthier. Two, it's a lot cheaper. I mean, a lot cheaper. And I get an excuse to bake all the time. There's a reason I have that big old mixer in the kitchen. Yes, there is. Today we're going to make brownies. Oh, it's fantastic. This is Palouse Days. It's the final week of Palouse Days. And you guys know I love this company. I love this company so much. And the products that they have are fantastic and they're clean. It's a woman-run company. It's just wonderful. And we have been featuring a different kind of wheat every single week throughout the month of June. Now, Palouse being the epic company that they are, also said, yeah, we'll do a giveaway. So every week we are giving away, they are giving away, a 25-pound bag of wheat and a 100-pound bundle. And it is for the wheat that is featured that week. This week is Red Spring Wheat. Red Spring Wheat. Okay, say that 10 times real fast. That is what you will get if you leave a comment and you are the names that are picked. The only way to find out is if you sign up for my newsletter. The link is down below. Yes, because I will put that up on Saturday before I've even had coffee, okay? I am drawing the names and we are putting that up on Saturday for the winners so that they can be notified. It's wonderful. Yes, it is. So enter to win a chance to obtain some really great wheat from a really great company. Now, if you use the links down below, you also get a discount. Yes, you do. This week, it's on Red Spring Wheat. There's a discount. So use those links down below if you're going to order it, which I highly recommend that you do. Now, today we're going to make brownies. It is going to be a chocolate hazelnut brownie. Yes! What did I say about the three-legged woman on a pogo stick? Right? It's going to be great. Let me show you how we're doing it, and we'll discuss hard, no, spring red wheat. Yes! Hard red spring wheat is a type of wheat that is highly valued for its high protein content and strong gluten. This makes it ideal for a variety of baking and culinary applications. These are just some of the benefits and uses of hard red spring wheat. So the benefits include the high protein content. Typically, it, it contains around 13 to 15 percent protein, which is higher than many other types of wheat. This high protein content is essential for the development of gluten, which gives baked goods their structure and their chewiness. Now, if you're using it like I did last week in place of rice, the carb count is very, very similar. However, the protein is significantly more in the wheat than in rice. So it's definitely something to consider if those are the kinds of things that you're watching with your diet. The strong gluten formation 
uh, is formed by making it ideal for bread making. It as it helps the dough rise and hold its shape, uh, leading to a better crumb structure and texture. You'll definitely notice the difference. The nutritional value is, yeah, hello, is rich in essential nutrients, including dietary fiber, vitamins, and minerals. These nutrients are important for maintaining overall health, even if you're adding it into brownies, right? Due to its strong gluten content and high protein levels, uh, hard red spring wheat can be used in a wide range of products beyond just bread. That makes it a very versatile, very versatile uh wheat to store. Now, as far as the flavor goes, the hard red spring wheat, just like the hard winter wheat, um, has a robust, slightly nutty flavor, which can enhance the taste of baked goods and other dishes. It's actually really good. If you're not used to it, it may take some getting used to, um, but it's it's a true whole wheat and, oh, it's, yeah, it's really good. You'll never go back to Wonder Bread, I promise you. So the uses for it are Bread, obviously. It's most commonly used for making bread, particularly artisan and whole grain loaves. Um, then also pasta. It can be used to make high quality pasta that holds its shape well when cooked thanks to its strong gluten structure. Pizza dough, the elasticity provided by the gluten makes it an excellent choice for pizza dough, resulting in a really great chewy, crispy cr- crust. It's oh, it's so good. Pastries and baked goods, while typically softer wheat is used for those, we talked about that in those videos, um, this can be blended with them in order to create pastries that require a bit more structure, like a, like Danish pastries or croissants. If you were to mix the spring wheat with some of the softer wheats, then yeah, you would, you, you would definitely uh, be appreciative of how well it turns out. Muffins and scones. It provides a hearty texture and a rich flavor, so it's it's good for that too. Now, whole grain, hard red spring wheat flour can be used to make healthier versions of baked goods, adding fiber and nutrients to your diet, which is what we did here with the brownies, right? Um, it's just another way to use it so that you are getting a better version. Yes, I know it's brownies and it has sugar and all that fun stuff, but you know, if you can take it up a notch at all, this is the way to take it up. Now, with whole wheat bread, a classic whole wheat bread use recipe using hard red spring wheat uh, will have a hearty texture and a rich flavor, and it will definitely rise well and hold its shape. The pasta um, will be, it's, the flour is firm, okay, and it holds up really well with sauces, so it won't disintegrate in your sauce and that kind of thing. It's a great choice for lasagna, spaghetti, and other pasta dishes. With pizza dough, like I said, you get, you know, a chewy, flavorful crust that can support a variety of toppings. Yes, you can. Whole wheat pancakes, my friends. It's it's worth the trip just for whole wheat pancakes, okay? Pancakes made with hard red spring wheat flour are more nu- more nutritious and have a rich, nutty flavor that pairs well with maple syrup and fruit toppings. I am telling you this looks so good. Okay, I did the toothpick test. It came out clean. That's a little hole right there. Oh, yeah. So you want the edges to be a little bit crunchy looking, right? Oh, yes. It's going to be so good. Okay, if this goes right, I'll be able to lift this straight out of here and over onto the cooling rack. This is absolutely wonderful. Yes, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yes. Okay, we have brownies, my friend. I'm going to let these cool for a little bit, and then we will have Phil come and give them a... Oh, they're super hot, super hot. But, oh, these are going to be amazing. Yes, super good. I can't find Phil. He's somewhere on the property. I don't know where. So we are going to cut into this bad boy. Oh, yes. Okay. There we go. Ooey gooey. Delicious. Oh, yes. Look at that. Mm. Mm Mm-hmm. Just scrumptious brownies. Yes. Still really hot. Mm Mm-hmm. But, oh, the taste is amazing. I tell you what. Your kids would not know that this has whole wheat in it. 
Your spouse would not know that this has whole wheat in it. Mm-hmm. Nobody would know. And, well, brownies are not what anybody would call healthy, right? These are healthier brownies. Oh, baby. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is, look at that. That is a delicious looking brownie. It is moist. It is ooey. It's gooey. It's got that shiny top. It's perfect. I mean, you couldn't get this out of a box mix if you tried, okay? This is a brownie. Yes. And no, I'm not going to eat it. But I wanted to show you really close. It's for Phil. Phil will eat the brownies and we'll give them to somebody else. Don't tell Phil. Anyway, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this month-long celebration of Palouse Days. Remember to check out this playlist right here for previous weeks and how to use different kinds of wheat. We'll be continuing with the wheat throughout the year, just not on a weekly basis. But remember to leave a comment down below, and I hope everybody has a fantastic day. Thank you, Palouse Brand, for being the amazing company that you are.